Welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2, episode number 10. I'm your host, Ota Director Jester. And Knuckles! I ran into that. That's Niskel. Oh, sorry. She has the other half. Well, uh, last we left off, Knuckles did some questionable things with Rouge. Something, something about her hot pit and. She gave him jewels afterwards. I, you know, I don't know. I don't want to ask. It's a form of payment. I don't want to ask. It's, it's none of my business. But maybe we can see it again. <sighs> no, we're not. We're going to skip that. <laughs> oh, you got my hopes up. I wanted to see a bat almost die. So now, back to the real plot. That was really bad. Crazy gadget. But yes, it was really bad. You should feel ashamed. Crazy <laughs> gadget. I hate this stage. I'm just going to say it. I hate the stage. Oh my god, it's a Sonic stage! Those don't exist! We've now just, again, whiplashed back to the main plot, where Amy and Tails are in trouble because Eggman is there and doing bad things. They so now we're, gonna, now we're gonna go through this stage that has the wonderness of gravity Ooh, switches attached to it. Good. How do you think that works? How do I think it works, sir? This many years before Mario Galaxy, how do you think it works? Mm, terribly? Not very well is the answer. Okay. Because it doesn't work very well. <laughs> and I'm gonna... You know, it, it gave me a lot of problems as a kid. Like, you know, the first two months I had this for the Dreamcast, when I got to this stage, it was over. It was just fucking over. I could try my, I could try my hardest. I tried so damn hard. But it was just fucking over, man. So we just got a little bit of Sonic Shell Shock, and I'm sorry that happened to you, my friend. Whoa. That's that, that's okay, but, you know, it doesn't look that bad so far, does it? No, no. Uh, that was a little bit of a tricky one. And now we're at a place where there's, like, a complete pit here. Oh. Don't pull that one or you're going to fall straight fucking God. down. God. Kind of pull oh. over here so you can go down here. You there's... have to change the gravity. Uh, somehow this reverts the gravity when I go on this rail. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how that... How, how, whatever. Ah, God! I think the physics are a bit askew in this level. Whoa, that, I don't think I've ever made that before. Uh, oh, what? This... Oh. One of those blobs broke apart, so I just gotta destroy the head and they're all gone. No. Oh. I couldn't move on until I did that. No, Omochao wouldn't tell you that shit, though, no way. <laughs> Destroy so the it. head! On, on, on what? You'll figure it out. So now Eggman is yelling at me, saying, There's no time for games! What's going on? What's taking so long? He'll actually berate me as the stage goes on. That didn't make matters much better. Just, just the fact that you can't get there. Oh, I can just imagine young you trying to figure this out, and all of a sudden Eggman's just giving you shit for not doing this fast enough. Uh, yeah. Like he, like, he wants a challenge, he wants to fight you right now, and you can't do it. He's like, Sonic, you're on the other end of the, of the fucking colony! Why don't you get here in 20 seconds? Come on! Fastest thing alive? I think not! <laughs> he starts going over the intercom, Happy birthday to me! It's taking that long! Hang on, Eggman, I gotta get a new item first. Now Sonic can break crates. Oh, that's it? It, it took us that long to get the ability to break crates. Steel crates, that is. Oh. Well, still no excuse. Which means that now we can go back to the old stages and see what we missed. And the answer is... Nothing. Allah! Oh, really? Allah! Oh, shit. We missed. Did we miss Quite any items, or just a lot of cool stuff? Yeah, we did. There's oh, okay. One, there's one in particular I'm thinking of right now that we missed. That we need. That every everybody has it. It's an item that everybody has that we need to find. But where is it? Well, they're not going to tell us that. Of course. It has it has to do with that mysterious rune-looking thingy. Ooh, that was cool. Yeah, that was a nice little thing. That, that, that was that, cool. That was really cool. That made me feel better, though. <laughs> Still dumb levels. <laughs> yeah, we'll say, uh... This game def definitely has like set piece moments, but that still doesn't excuse a lot of the uh, a lot of the follies. But I can forgive you. It's just like the Uncharted series. Oh! We've been really bragging on Uncharted lately, haven't we? Jesus Christ, it was repetitive as fuck, but it was really cool. 
I mean, weren't you talk we were talking bad about Uncharted in that one Sunshine episode? Yeah, well, probably. I it, it just be, I don't think this will be out by the time that's out though. I don't know, it just uh just got under my skin that people are calling it a perfect ten and I would call it at least an eight point five. It's good, but just the cover the cover based shooting just goes on for a bit too long. Mm-hmm. You can only play it's, for a few short bursts at a time, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's really sad when the person sitting next to you watching you play this said, you know, I bet you the next three rooms will have tons of dudes you have to kill, and look at that, the next three rooms had tons of dudes for me to kill. But wait, they went one step further, now that the next four rooms have tons of dudes with them. Yeah, it's just, I'm, mm. I'm like, ten minutes away from the end of the game and you throw three more hallways with tons of hard-to-kill dudes? Awesome! Thanks for that, Naughty Dog, you bunch of assholes. See, that's why I love Dark Souls. It's just tons of rooms where you have to kill a bunch of di- wait a minute. Ah, uh, wait a second. But at least it's fun. <laughs> I'm not bitter. So, here is the room where all of my pain stems from. We have to go- we're in space, by the Ooh. way. I don't know how we're breathing right now, but we have to use these switches with the controls flip-flopping oh. all the time. And just kind of- oh, This is just like the, the most cryptic maze ever. I can't, like, would you guess to jump over here? Mm. You probably would, but hey, shut up. <laughs> this is on the mindset of young you. Yeah, th th this this is where everything ends. I, no matter how good I do in the game, because this room just ends everything. Because <laughs> Not only do I have to keep switching the gravity and, you know, try to finagle my way around this hamster maze of a, of oh, a level God. we got here. I mean, I don't even know if I'm going the right way, but not only that, but there's a switch I have to press somewhere. The goal <laughs> ring is behind a wall. <laughs> and I have to open it by hitting the switch. If I hit the switch, well, I've got to go back. How am I going to go back? Well, Lord. there's a bottomless pit down there you can go down. Oh, Lord. I mean, this is cool, but uh, not exactly telling. Yeah. I'm not feeling challenged here. I'm just getting annoyed. <laughs> I'M SO LOST! It's like, am I going the right way? Am I making progress? It doesn't feel like I'm making much progress. It's, it feels like I am just an ant going around a Tetris freeze frame right now. Oh, hey, there's a switch. I guess that was the one, but hey, it's a good thing I went there. And then we got this asshole who's just firing lasers constantly. I think that was the one robot that's on the fritz, or the one alien. Just yeah. going, hey, is this what I do? But that switch opens up a rocket so I can finally unlock the goal ring and fuck that shit. Wow. Up the butt. Now, I, made I, will say one, <clears throat> I made it one life, though, so I'm proud of that, at least. I will say, for, like, a set-piece level, that was pretty cool. Just made it. C rank. I'm, I'm a little proud of that for the first time in years. Good job. Don't patronize me. No, good job. I don't, wouldn't have been able to do that. Ju just, just stop. Stop. Fine, you fucking suck. That was Thank terrible. You. Thank you. That's... I, I live for that. <laughs> Degrade me some more. You should have gotten an E, because that would have described your ability? I don't know. I have a little bit of news regarding the name of the Dark Chow. Uh-oh! I thank you all for your suggestions. They have all been wonderful. It really makes me, you know, pick you all as the kind of person with the names that you choose, you know, uh... Dip <laughs> Don't don't have children, okay? Anyway, it was, um, yeah, it was definitely telling on what type of names came out of certain people's comments. Holy shit! But I have decided a name. I have decided a name. It's not it's nothing anybody has suggested. You know, sorry about that. But I have cho I've chosen a name. It is perfect, and I hope you all will like it. But I'm going to hold you in suspense until the dark story. Now, you know what's going to happen. You asked a wide variety of people for their suggestions. You didn't use any of them. Which means, in a perfect world, they're not going to like it. I don't know, I ran it by you. You kind of liked it. Yeah, it was a good idea. I mean, as soon as you spelled it. Yeah. Hmm. But still, thank you all for your suggestions. I really did consider them until I found just the perfect one. And look! He's doing his little shake dance! He's doing what he learned from school. <gasps> He's learning! And that now calls for a mango, I guess. Now where's that other jerk? We need to put his head on the barbecue grill. You're trying to eat the eggshell? No way. 
That's the, the one thing I'm learning from Sonic Adventure is animal abuse. I'm glad that's all you're getting from this. Well, I'm certainly not getting anything else from the story, because it's kind of stupid. I wish the story had more animal abuse in it. There we go. So you know what? Just play as Tails and then jump off the cliff a few times. <laughs> Alright, I think all's well here. We can leave now. Because there's still more game to play! Did my daily abuse, fed the one I like. Let's get out of here. 33 minutes, running tight here. <sighs> He's gonna blow up to Earth! Or that picture of the Earth. It's only a model. Shh. It's only a drawing. Shh. What an a <laughs> oh, Bang! See, that's the perfect time to cut out all sound, all picture, gunshot sound. Perfect. I haven't done that one. If you really can. Gold. Cut. Print. Move on to the next Sonic game, where he mourns over the loss of his lady love that he didn't know he wanted until she was gone. Sonic Adventure 4. The Hedgehog's End. See, it writes itself. I know. But we skipped over three, so we're gonna we are gonna have to write Sonic Adventure 3. Well hey, it's not up to me to make Sonic Adventure 3. Now is it? True. You weren't drafted for three. You're drafted for four. Besides, we're gonna kill him off right now anyway. You thought you could trust oh. me with that fake empty, didn't you? Oh, he caught on. And then because you just boy. Oh like, my god! Huh? IQ of a genius, my ass! Tails, you're dumb as shit! Well, he does have an IQ of 300, Eggman does. And he is 8. So I wouldn't feel so proud. Stupid fox kid. What is 8 in fox years? Still? 8? I don't know. Oh, okay. Oh no, Sonic's going back to Earth! Oh, not only that. He's gonna go boom. <sighs> Uh oh. That's Which means I can there. still get power. No way. And. Oh, he's too late. No, Sonic. I totally believe that he's dead. He's been dead for years, man. You have my promise. Uh, yep. Take him to the back of the barn, get my shotgun. So now, so Tails wants to believe in himself. I can't rely on anybody else but me. I'm gonna kill you, Eggman. Oh, is this a Tails boss fight? I didn't do that fade to red to black. This is uh, the final boss fight for Tails. Oh, for Tails, okay. Yes. Fighting Eggman, he's a little hard. So not only does, uh, is he a bit more aggressive than last time we fought him, but there is a big thing in the center that puts these huge explosive bombs that can be shot at. Eggman has also got his powers as well, including missiles and a fucking Whoa. beam that Whoa. pretty much insta-kills you. Prac almost, at least. If he, if he hits you just right, he will fucking end you. Wow! Oh, you are ended. And it's very hard to avoid. Damn. So, number two. Here we go. Wow, that was that was kind of awesome. Eggman, where did this arsenal come from? And where did you finally get the nuggets to actually start killing people? What? Well, hey, you got a... Oh, shit. <laughs> see, see, look, I've already got less than half health, and he, and he because he hit me with his melee attack, which hurts even more than his beam does, I think. Oh, God. But mine does about this, you know, the same amount of damage. It's like Eggman taking no prisoners now. I can only hit him six times, no matter what, but he can hit me for a minimum of three times. There's a fucking beam that's gonna fucking Ooh. hit me unless I do something. Alright, you gotta avoid this last beam because he always. Oh, well, I've got no, it for well, even that. No, no. Attempt number three. Because when he gets down to his last legs, he starts firing his cannon constantly, so he's always gonna fucking hit you. So if you oh. have any low health. That's gonna <laughs> what, take care of that, no problem. So what you gotta do is you gotta make sure you don't get hit too much in the beginning. The, the, oh my the, god! Beginning of the fight. 
He does so much damage! I know! <laughs> here, he, here he goes again with another fucking follow with that stupid oh, fucking game! Damn! <laughs> Number four! Dude! Eggman takes no prisoners in this game! I love it! He is not fucking around. And Omachow Chow thinks he's helping, and then he just stops. <laughs> He thinks he's helping. <laughs> Turns out Omachow's just getting on your windshield so you can't see anything. It's like, fuck, oh, Omachow, oh, Stay alert and keep shooting. How about some real fucking advice like how to avoid his goddamn beam? <laughs> oh, it's just like that. I mean, uh, duh. I, I figured that out. He locks onto you, but he's slow to turn. That's the thing. That's what I can give you. And there you go. Aww. I was hoping for a double KO there, because that bullet was following right behind you. It's been happening a lot more than you think lately, thanks to Dark Souls 3. <laughs>